Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the Interbubs, and welcome back to episode 2 of this Let's Play Oxygen Not Included miniseries with me, Ren Diggity Dog. This is the Ren Skull Stress Incorporated Colony, and in the previous episode, we did pretty good, man. We set up some storage, we set up some power, and we set up some oxygen generation. However, we got some problems up in our colony. Insufficient oxygen right now, and the colony requires a food source. So today, we're going to try and figure those things out, everybody. Sit back and relax. Hope you got a tasty beverage. Hope you got a crunchy snack. I got a delicious cup of tea. Give me one second. Mmm! That's what I'm talking about. Now, I've got the colonists doing a bunch of mining over here. Stress and Ins Eskal working their butts off, collecting, well, a bunch of coal, which is cool, and a bunch of copper, which is also cool. Copper is really important because we use that to make the machines and stuff in this game. And I guess what we should do is focus on making something that'll make food. Let's have a look in the food option over here. We've got something called a microbe musher. And the microbe musher produces low-quality food for duplicates using common ingredients. Okay, so let's install this bad boy right over here. Now this base is looking a little bit janky, I must admit. I kind of want to eventually make like a really cool base somehow. We don't have a lot of tiles to work with though, we only have this tile thing. But man, maybe we could make like a really cool base using tiles and ladders or something. For now I suppose we need to stabilize our food income and our oxygen income. Check it out man, I actually figured out something uh, before I started recording this episode. At some point we're going to run out of oxygen and we're also going to run out of algae. And <laughs> that's not good. We're going to have to try find a way to generate oxygen without, well, oxalite and algae. And there must be ways to do that. I guess we'll also run out of food because if this thing is going to be using algae to make food and this thing uses algae to make oxygen, that algae is going to get absolutely zapped out the wazoo, isn't it? Now, our little friend is back over here, the Hatch, who's just chilling. He's also overheated right now, which I don't quite understand. But uh, I'm kind of scared of that thing. It's got massive teeth. And um, I suppose I'm going to have to send Iskal to deal with that. Let's face it, stress, stress and I are too much of a noob to be able to handle such a, a ghastly beast. Uh, but there he is. He's hanging out. Every now and then he disappears, though, which I suppose is a good thing for us. But check this out, man. We can actually increase the speed of the game uh, by pressing plus. Look at him. Did, what jazz was he doing? Was he eating something? Was he eating sand? <laughs> what is this thing doing, man? Or was he taunting us, maybe? Uh, oh, there he goes. He goes little thing, doesn't he? Oh, man. Can we actually get him? Is it? Oh, hang on. Can we get him? We can dig out the cell. Okay, so we can't actually get the hatch. Let's ignore that stupid thing for now, though, because it kind of worries me. I suppose what we should focus on is getting some more algae, right? And I know there's algae up here. So, let's get some ladders going again. Let's send some ladders up to the top. And we probably just want to do, I suppose, like this. We could make some platforms or something using the ladders. Then we can dig out this algae. Oh, and check this out. If we go further up, there's like another cave network up here, right? So let's build our ladder all the way up to the top. And I kind of want to collect the mealwood too. Now, if we have a look in food, we, ha we have something called a planter bo box, which uh, can house a single plant, which periodically produces food or medicine. Now, we saw some silkworms in the previous episode that come out of these mealwoods. I'm assuming that at some point we can actually plant this thing and generate some of those silkworms for us, right? Rendog and Iskal are hungry. Okay, so how much food do we have left in the ration box? We've only got, let's have a look, uh, 17 kilograms left. So that's not too bad. That's quite a lot of food. But let's fire up our little food making thing over here, right? What does it need? It needs a mush uh, or it needs, I guess, algae. Yeah. Okay. Produces low quality food, blah, blah, blah. We'll make a mush bar, an edible petrified mud slop. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. But check this out. There's a lice loaf which is made out of meal lice, and those meal lice are the, those little creatures that we saw growing um, on, that, on that plant, aren't they? So that's perfect. So we, we will eventually make that stuff. But for now, let's make some mush bars. Let's fabricate, like, I don't know, five of them or six of them, I suppose. There we go. Oh, look at them. They're going to come down and bring some mush into the, the machine to make some mud slop, because that sounds delicious. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this thing should be working now. Has it got everything it, it needs? I guess so. Oh, it needs water. It needs 74 kilograms of water. Okay, there we go. Look at the little water bottles on the back. Oh, that's awesome. Eskal and Ren working in tandem there to get this thing fired up. What else does it need? Awaiting some more water. Jeez, how much water does this thing need? Oh, no, don't get too close to the thing, guys. Jeez. Okay, 
Maybe, oh, you know what we should do? I've got a plan. Let's do this very quickly. While that thing is burrowed, let's like trap it inside there because I'm kind of worried about that, right? Um, everybody, can you go build the thing? Oh, did I just level up? Oh, that's awesome. Hang on, let me see myself. The details. Have I leveled up or something? I don't actually know. It doesn't tell me. I guess I leveled up. Oh, wait, status, information, details. Okay, I don't know what's happening over there. Anyway, there we go. We're going to trap it in there. Don't wake up, Hatch. Please, dude. Okay, it's, he's still in there. Stress, quickly. Lay down the tiles before the thing comes back to life. Okay, I think we're good. Also, I think we're going to need to make like a platform across here to this water over here, right? Because obviously, uh, we need water to make our food. Now, let's have a look at this microbe musher. <laughs> Freaking stress, falling asleep on the job again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. She's a super awesome runner, but she gets, she's narcoleptic. She falls asleep on the job. Okay, this microbe musher is absolutely disgusting. Is it, is it just me? Or is that musher literally pooping out like some mud slop? That, that's what's going on over there, right? <laughs> Iskal's come to do the work for stress. Nothing new there. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely disgusting. Oh, man. It's, it's sort of halfway out too, which is kind of awkward, really. It's really gross. Oh, man. All right. I'm busy pumping some power. Oh, I love how you can see how much power is available, like, like on the actual um, thing itself. Check it out. We've got like a power bar. And I think I saw a couple more of them around here too. Oh yeah, look at the loo. <laughs> it shows you like how, how full it is, right? It's sort of halfway full. It's got eight more visits left. I wonder who's going to be cleaning up that jazz, man. Anyway, what else do we need to do around here? So we got food. Excellent. There's not enough oxygen in here though. Let's take a look at our oxygen chart. Yeah, there's definitely not enough oxygen. So I think we should add another algae deoxidizer over here. And we're going to need to add a little bit of uh, power cabling too. Where's the power cabling? There it is. Jeez, I'm still trying to get used to this game you know like trying to remember where everything is but there we go so we're going to get another oxygen generator but i guess there's no oxygen up here i wonder if this outhouse is causing some trouble for the oxygen also <laughs> this is looking very scary oh this is carbon dioxide we definitely don't want to go up there man okay cancel that plan <laughs> we're not going to go into that cave that's super deadly let's take a look around here though uh, if there's any more caves for us to explore um, I suppose we need to start focusing on some other stuff over here. Let's have a look at some of the other options that we've got. Let's have a look at stations. Oh, look at this. A research station can be worked by duplicants to conduct novice research and unlock new technologies. Now, that sounds pretty awesome to me. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty sweet. How is the oxygen problem over here? I was thinking about putting it here, but there's loads of carbon dioxide over here. That's not good. I guess these things don't actually do anything with carbon dioxide. So we're going to need like a new place for research, right? I guess this little place down here. Actually, this looks like a good spot over here. I don't want to go anywhere near that hatcher thingy. Hang on, where's this thing? Okay, research station. Okay, look at this thing. It's awesome. Let's plug that into the power now, though. Let's run the cable. Uh, this is where Iskal is going to shine, right? Iskal is a scientist, and his strengths are research, I guess, or technical stuff. Look how happy he is. He's like, yes, I'm getting a research station. Nice. What's Stress Monster doing? Oh, she's pooping out um, mush bars. Nice. Also, why isn't any of this jazz getting picked up? Do we have to, like, manually sweep? Let's just do some sweepage over here. Come on, guys. You've got to keep the colony clean, man. This, this place is looking nasty. I suppose what we could do also, uh, could be a job for me, I guess, is I could start digging away, like, underneath here. Let's, like, dig away all this junk and then turn it into tiles just so that it looks a little bit better. Can we, like, overbuild? Actually, oh, we can. Okay, that's awesome. So let's just do this. I kind of want the colony to look a little bit better right now. It's looking a little bit janky. So let's get that going. Um, and I guess we, ca we can't really do anything until this restation, research station is, is built. It requires 400 kilograms of copper ore, though. And that kind of worries me. Have we? Oh, we haven't mined out all the copper over here. What's going on, guys? Okay, I think this is a good opportunity to use the prioritize tool. Uh, check this out. I think we can set the priority of this task to nine by doing this. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be priority nine. Very nice. Is that P? Okay, yeah, that's P. 
Now, hopefully that's going to make me go and harvest that copper. Oh, I almost forgot. We have a new freaking colonist to get into our colony. Oh, jeez. I'm such an idiot. The printing pod is glowing something fierce. And that means we can welcome a brand new colonist to Ren Skull Stress Incorporated. And that's going to be sweet. We got the food going. We got the oxygen going, kind of. And we're about to get some research going. So this is the perfect time to get a new colonist up in this jazz.